Welcome to the Mujiwara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the vast world of One Piece, where every island holds untold mysteries and challenges. But none quite like the legendary land of Elbaf. As the Straw Hat Pirates brace themselves for their next journey, the winds of destiny beckon them towards this fabled destination. Join us as we delve into the captivating tale of Usopp's journey to Elbaf, a quest filled with reunions, revelations, and the pursuit of greatness. From fulfilling promises made on distant shores to confronting his past and embracing his destiny, Usopp's adventure promises to be nothing short of epic. As One Piece's egghead arc hits its peak, the Straw Hat Pirates must now focus all of their efforts on getting off the island with Vegapunk and his satellites. And quickly making their way to Elbaf, which they just found out is their next destination. It's not so easy to carry out this plan, though, since Admiral Kazaru, CP0 Spy Rob Lucci, the Seraphim, and finally one of the five elders St. J. Garcia Saturn are all in the way of the crew's escape from Egghead Island. No matter how they get off of Egghead alive, Elbaf will undoubtedly play a big role in the rest of the final saga both for the stories of individual crew members and for the story as a whole. It's possible that Luffy will finally meet Shanks, Robin will meet up with Saul to learn more about the Void Century, and Usopp will finally meet his long-lost father Yasop. Due to a long history that goes all the way back to the beginning of the Straw Hat Pirate's journey along the Grand Line, Usopp could play a major role in Elbaf. Part 1. Fulfilling his promise to Dory and Broggy. The Straw Hat Pirate's journey to Elbaf began in the Little Garden arc of the Arabasta Saga, when the group met Dory and Broggy. Two giants who used to be captains of the giant warrior pirates but had been sent to the island of Little Garden for a hundred years. Because they got into a fight over hunting, Dory and Broggy decided to fight each other every day until one of them lost to settle the argument. They were about the same strength, so there hadn't been a settlement like this in a hundred years. When Usopp learned about the giants of Elbaf and their society, he was inspired by how brave and proud they were. At the time, he was just starting out as a pirate. He was also very interested in the giant's power. The giants are one of the strongest races in the world of One Piece, and they have a lot of very strong fighters. Before leaving the island, Usopp promised to go to Elbaf and meet the giants. He thought that they could help him become a brave sea warrior, which was his dream. Part 2. Reuniting with his father. Another important reason for Usopp to go to Elbaf is that the Red Hair Pirates, lead by Shanks, were last seen protecting the island from the Kid Pirates. Shanks' shooter is actually Yasop, Usopp's father, whom he hasn't seen since his mother died. Since Luffy and Shanks might finally meet again on Elbaf, it's likely that Usopp will visit the Land of the Giants, where more details about his past will finally become clear. A lot of talk has been made about this meeting, and the stress that has been building up to it is now at an unbreakable point as the Straw Hat Pirates try to escape Egghead and find safety on Elbaf. When Usopp finally meets his father, they will have to talk about a lot of things. For example, they will have to talk about why Yasop had to leave his sick wife and young son, as well as the adventures that both he and his son have taken since they became pirates. Most importantly, Yasop will have a lot to teach his son Usopp because he is a much more experienced sniper and part of one of the best pirate crews in the New World. This will give Usopp the strength he needs to face even stronger enemies in future story arcs. Part 3. Becoming a Brave Warrior of the Sea During most of the Wano Country arc, Usopp was way out of his league when he met the Beast's Pirates officers, who were all very strong and good at fighting. Robin, Jinbi, Sanji, Zoro, Chopper, Frankie, and Luffy all got stronger in Wano Country, but Usopp was slow to catch up and contribute. He complained that his lack of strength was keeping him from helping his friends. He woke up his observation hockey in the Dressrosa arc, but he hasn't changed much about how he uses it since then. He also has to get better at fighting because the Straw Hat Pirates are now known to be the crew of one of the four Emperors of the Sea. He needs to do this to keep up with his stronger crew members and take on bigger enemies like the Marine Admirals. After this, Elbaf might finally give Usopp the attention he deserves at this point in One Piece's story. Whether it's to improve his shooting skills or teach him how to use his hockey to help him in battle. Along the lines of Sanji and Whole Cake Island, Usopp needs a power-up and to learn more about his past in order to move forward in his character growth. One Piece seemed to miss a chance to get to know Zoro's personality better in Wano. Now, 
there is an even better chance for the Straw Hat Pirate Sniper to understand his family history and come to terms with his past as he works to become the brave sea warrior he has always wanted to be. Summary and Highlights The Straw Hat Pirates need to get off of Egghead Island and onto their next target, Elbaf. However, Admiral Kazaru and CP0 Agent Rob Lucci are in their way. Elbaf will be very important in the final saga of One Piece. He could bring Luffy and Shanks together, Robin and Salt together, and Usopp and his father Yasop together. Usopp's journey to Elbaf could help him keep his word to Dory and Broggy, and it could also lead to a reunion with his long-lost father, who could give him a power-up and help him become a brave sea warrior. And there you have it, the enthralling tale of Usopp's journey to Elbaf a testament to the enduring spirit of adventure that defines the Straw Hat crew. From the bonds forged in battle to the dreams pursued with unwavering resolve, their story continues to inspire fans around the world. Thank you for joining us on this epic voyage through the world of One Piece. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our future adventures. Until next time, may your dreams be as vast as the sea, and your courage as boundless as the skies. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more One Piece adventures. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujiwara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our review analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Rorano Azoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat. And people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? The first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is, but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.